Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee International. I'm Daniel Gudemo, your raving lunatic <laughs> co-host here. And over there, we have Happy John. <laughs> hey. All righty. Um, I was hoping to come into this show and say everything was great, but only one team talked today. Best of luck next year, Green Bay. Also, Tenet, the Titans also lost, so best of luck to them next year. Yeah. So for this show, the NFL is <sighs> um in other news, now that we got the bad stuff out of the way, um we have one little shred of uh news here before we get into everything. San Jose Barracudas have a problem. That problem is that the American Hockey League announced that today San Jose forward, San Jose Barracudas forward, Christoph Harbick has been suspended for 30 games as a consequence of a racial gesture directed at Boko Imamo of the Tucson Roadrunners during a game between or during the a game between the teams on January 12th, which was 10 days ago. This was written yesterday. The, in order to come back from his suspension or be have it reduced, he must complete the uh, National Hockey League Player Inclusion Committee participation in, in education and training and racism and inclusion. Um, he cannot be reinstated before Before March twelfth, right. Um, as as far as I'm concerned, this is unethical behavior. Uh, don't do this. This is not where we are in hockey, and not where we are as uh, people. Right. Well beyond this, um, thirty games is a bit hefty, but yeah, no. Um. So today, uh, the uh, Florida Everblades took on the Atlanta Gladiators. Um, I did actually get to see some of this game. Uh, thank you to the highlight area of the uh, ECHL.com. Thank you so much. Um, I will say this. There is some sp uh, a couple spots I'm a little irritated with. Uh, the Everblades were outshot 34 to 31, uh, 8 to 7 in the first 14. They outshot the Gladiators 14 to 11 in the second, but they were outshot 15 to 10 in the third. Therefore, the total is 34 31 shots. Um, scoring in the first period was, well, our all star, Blake Winicky. Welcome back with an assist from Mighty Joe Pedenza. And welcome back also from either A, the COVID list, or B, the injury list, uh, Xavier Bouchard. I think they're the same thing, but yeah, no. John's still day-to-day -day with a, uh, what is that, lingering COVID symptom. One, mm -hmm. one. So um, the uh, Atlanta Gladiators then scored two straight shorthanded goals, um, one by Mike Pellick with an assist by Cody Sylvester. Uh, that was a beautiful pass by Sylvester setting Pelic up. There was nothing that he could do um, outside of the Everblades playing better defense on the power play. Um, then Gabe Gertler scored with an assist from uh, Mitchell Holscher. Uh, yet again, another one of those situations where we just got to play better defense. Scoring in the second, nothing. Scoring in the third. It's Avery Peterson with an assist from Chris McCann. Robert Bobo Carpenter. Now that goal was scored shorthanded. So both teams had shorthanded goals against. And then the Everblades at the 1849 mark 
Scores game winner Nathan Perkovich with an assist from Blake Winicky and Christian Housinger. Um, in net was uh, Tomas Vomachka. He stopped uh, 30 of 32 with a 94.1 save percentage. And for the Gladiators taking the L is Tyler, uh, Chris Nell. He stopped 28 of 31 with a 90.323 save percentage. Um, so not a bad night for either goalie. I would like to no. win. The Everblades standing wise, just to give you guys a quick little update, are in second place in the division. All right, uh, to the Milwaukee Admirals. They were in Grand Rapids today at the Van Andel Arena. Um, the Griffins welcome back one of their longtime um, uh, wingers that they had up there. Uh, they had him a little bit in the AHL, and then they had him in Detroit for a long time. Justin Aptogator. Um, he did not have a good game. But I can tell you there is a player who did. All right. Um, because I have a note for you guys that you guys that Nashville fans are gonna want him called up in a hurry. All right, so shots were 32 to 31. Pretty even. Both teams were over two on the power play. Scoring in the first was Dono, Matt Donovan with his fifth of the season with an assist from Morocco. Grimaldi, his 13th. That would be his. Sixth point, wait, seventh, yeah, seventh point in the week. And his 13th on the year, 13th assist on the year with an assist from Tommy Novak, his fifth. Uh, Dennis Yan scores for the uh, Griffins right back after it uh, with his sixth of the season with an assist from John Martin. Um, then in the second period, Rocco Grimaldi scores. Um, with his 15th goal of the season with assist from Tommy Novak, his sixth, and Matt Luff in it. Matt Luff, his 12th of the year. Uh, then scoring at the 1306 mark was Matt Berry with an assist from Donovan Sabrango and Dan Renuff, uh, both of their fifth assist of the season. Then scoring at the uh, 5.30 mark uh, was Cole Schneider with his 15th of the year with an assist from Frederick Allard and Anthony Richard. Allard and Richard, both of their fourth. Nice. Then Rocco Grimaldi scores his 16th of the season with an assist from Cody Glass and Cole Schneider. Glass is 19th, Schneider's 18th and Grimaldi's 16th goal of the season. Then at the 1936 mark with the hat trick, Rocco Grimaldi with the EN. His 17th of the season with an assist from Cole Schneider, your captain, my captain, with three points in this game. And Matt Donovan on the assist. Schneider's 19th, Donovan's 16th. Three stars of the game. Uh, third star of the game was Matt Berry with a goal. Uh, second star of the game was uh, Tommy Novak with two assists. And first star of the game with the hat trick and an assist, Rocco Grimaldi. Goaltender Connor Ingram with 29 saves on 31 shots. Um, two goals against. Um, Victor Bratstrom, or Bratstrom. Stopped 27 to 31 with four goals against. Attendance at Van Andel Arena was 9,475. Referees for this game were Sean Fernandez and Sean Sheen Fernandez, or Sean Fernandez and Sean Davis. Uh, linesmen were Jake Davis, 
and Justin Cornell. The Admirals this year are now three and five against the Griffins. Um, The Admirals in their last five games are three, oh, and two now. Rocco Grimaldi this week from Monday to now has 10 points. Should be nominee for AHL Player of the Week. Yeah. Should be a nominee for play, AHL Player of the Week. We are going to keep tabs on that. Around the yeah. AHL, the, uh, uh, or at least around our division, the Iowa Wild fall to the Colorado, to Colorado Eagles. Um, the Wolves lose to Manitoba 4-3 in OT. And I'm looking. Rockford beats Texas in a shootout. <laughs> Um, currently now, the Admirals are now in the standings. Uh, 16, 18, 2, and 2. Uh, going on a 4, 4, 0, oh, and 2 in their last 10. So they're 500 plus a split. Or two splits. Yeah, I was going to shoot out both times. So a split, two splits. So a OT loss, I call it a split because it's a half loss. So you go up actually a little if you have a losing record. So half losses actually do help your team. Yeah. Um, if it were by points, the Admirals would be in fourth place. Believe it or not. So uh, the Admirals are uh, doing quite well for themselves. We've played more games right now than anybody in our division. Um, Rockford still has 41 games remaining. Grand Rapids has 43. The Wolves have 42. Uh, us, Iowa, and Manitoba have 38. And Texas has 42. So plenty of hockey to be played. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of hockey to be played, um, I have been enjoying watching this team all year so far. And that is the Nashville Predators. Um, the Nashville Predators have had a wonderful season so far. Um, they were in this game. They were outshot twenty nine to to twenty five. Uh, one the dominated in the faceoff circle, technically, if you want to call it that, 56 to 44, which is more of a domination than normal. Because you're used to seeing about 48 to 52 or 47 to 53. That's about normal. So this is a little right. bit of a domination area. Um, the Preds went one for three on the power play where the uh, Red Wings went 0 for five. Uh, 22 bet penalty minutes for the Preds, uh, 18 for the Red Wings. Hits were 34 24 uh, for the Predators. Blocks were 18 to, or 14 to 8 Preds. And giveaways were 17 to 9 Preds. Um, not exactly something I want to see, but we'll see where it got us. Um, I missed a good chunk of this game because I was at a grocery store, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and that's what I told John I was doing. I was grocery shopping. Yeah, with the family. So, uh, you know, need food. <laughs> we mm. looked at what's up. We're low on food. Um, scoring in the first period, nothing. Uh, scoring in the second with Nick Cousins with his sixth of the season with an assist from Thomas Sino, his ninth, and Ekholm his tenth. That goal was scored on the power play. Um, believe it or not, the Red Wings and the Predators are number one, team number one and two in rookie scoring. So uh, there's that statistic as well. Um, 
then scoring his 18th goal of the season was Matt Duchesne with an assist from Forsberg, his 12th and Tennyson. Matt Tennyson now has a point in both of his NHL games with the Preds with his second of the season. Why can't you play like that here? Sorry, had to let that out. <laughs> mm-hmm. As a frustrated Admirals fan, I had to let that out. <laughs> All right, Adam Ernie scores his first uh, or his fourth goal of the season from uh, the Red Wings with an assist from Bertuzzi. Bert, it's Bert and Ernie. Uh, Bertuzzi's seventeenth uh, and Stahl his fifth of the season. Is that Mark Stahl? Yes. Okay. There's too many of them. <laughs> uh, then scoring in the third. A good season is 20 goals. Bill Forsberg now has a good season, and we ain't even halfway through yet. We ain't hit the all-star break yet. And Forsberg has 20 goals. Nice. Now, he's not among the lead leader, lead leaders in goals, but he is among the lead leaders in points per game. Yeah. Um, on the assist for this 20th goal is Matt Tennyson with his third and Matt Duchesne with his 19th. Speaking of Matt Duchesne and his 19th, Matt Duchesne scored his 19th goal at the 18-12 mark to make it 4-1. to one. Smashville, it's frosty time. <laughs> Go on out to your local supply, local Wendy's dealer, and now that uh, supporting Wendy's in Nashville. Um, there's a code on the Nashville Predators uh, Twitter page and Facebook, and you can get yourself a free Frosty. In net for the uh, Red Wings is Alex Nadelkovich, former Carolina Hurricane. Uh, stopping 21 and 24 with a point eight five eight seven five save percentage. Um, he um stopped all the shorthanded shots. Uh... All righty. And that for the Preds was Juice Juicy Sorrow. Sorrow stopped 28 to 29 with a point nine six six save percentage. Uh, your referees were Furman South and TJ Luxmore, linesmen Steve Barton and Trent Nord. Head coach for Detroit is Jeff Blas Hill. Head coach for the National Predators is John Hines. Scratches for the Detroit Red Wings were Tomas Grice, uh, Jamel Smith. Who actually, weirdly enough, Jamel Smith played in the Grand Rapids game, which confused, confuses me. Um, and Jordan Osterle. Um, scratches for Nashville were Ben Harper, L.A. Tolvanen, and Philip Myers. Tolvanen, I am not sure why he is out. Okay. Uh, um, I did want to also welcome someone to the Admirals family <laughs> while I get to this. So please bear with me, folks. Uh, it's a long, long, tedious process here. But uh, ah, Jamel is on a conditioning loan from Detroit. There you go. There's your answer. Where are you? Aha! Stefan Disrocher, who has been assigned to the Florida Everblades as of today. Okay. Um, I would like to welcome him to the Admirals family because he signed an SPC with us for the remainder of the season, uh, giving us a little more depth in the, de- de- in the defensive area. Uh, right. Rocher, uh, AKA Stephen D. Rocher is what they're saying now. Or do you have, they have, uh, signing.
Okay. Apparently you don't want to work today. Delete prospect. All right, so Stephen DeRocher or Stephen DeRocher is 25 years old, six foot four defenseman. He weighs 198 pounds. He's a left-handed shot. According to his scouting report of 2015, when he was drafted by the Toronto Maple Leafs in the sixth round, um, reliable defensive, defenseman that can eat up minutes due to his smart play in his own ends and uses his strength along the boards and uses his size to his advantage and protects the puck well. Knows his game inside and out. Knows what he can and cannot do. No, knows how to push his limits and break down boundaries. What he can work on would be quicker decision making and quicker quickness through the neutral zone. All in all, well-rounded defenseman who has the tools and work ethics to be successful moving forward. Red. The Maple Leafs let him go. He has already played in one game for the Everblades tonight, if I remember correct, if I'm reading that correctly already. Um, this season, he played for University of Western Ontario, where he was their captain, uh, scoring eight goals, or have, in eight games, he had two goals, five assists, seven points, 20 penalty minutes. Okay. A what? Is that breaking news? No, it is not. Um, in his last full season he played, he had 26 games, 7 goals, 8 assists, 15 points, and 30 penalty minutes. Um, in that, also in that playoffs that year, he had 5 assists and 4 penalty minutes. Um, in his final season in juniors, he played in 65 games, 12 goals, 39 assists, 51 points, and a plus one. He also played 11 games in that year in the playoffs with two goals, three assists, five points, and a minus five. So for five points, he was out there for five goals against. So I would like to welcome him to the uh, ranks. Yep. Um, so more for us to cover on the uh, uh, on that. Um, also, we would like to send our condolences to uh, Randy Boyd and his family. Uh, former Admiral Randy Boyd passed away this week, as well as. Uh, uh, one second. I'm trying to remember everything. Oh. Uh, Clark Gillies as well and their family. Uh, we would like to wish our condolences to their family and um, I hope that they can heal. Um, losing someone's never fun, but uh, our thoughts and and and. Uh, prayers are with them. Also, happy birthday to Dylan Blugis and Cole Sherwood. <laughs> um, Clark Gillies is, is a, a legend in this game, um, you know, and and that's yeah. not exactly uh, fun for us. Um, I would also like to congratulate Roman Yossi uh, on becoming all-time assist leader in Preds history. Congratulations there as well. Um, I am also informed uh, I have uh, missed most of the last few games for the Preds and they have been winning so I am informed I am not allowed to watch. <laughs> By our PR guy. <laughs> so mm -hmm. they'll jump there from our, our group of, of people. Uh, they, they like making me laugh. And, uh, you know, um, I love doing this. Um, we do have some more stuff upcoming. If I remember correctly, the All-Star Games this weekend as well. This upcoming weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Um. 
And I think me and John are going to be trying to be there or at least be live for some of either that or the uh, highly unlikely we're live for any part of the skills competition. I'm probably going to have to DVR it. Right. Uh, Um, the NHL All-Star Game. Oh, okay. Just add on to my list of things I have to do that weekend. February 4th and 5th. Oh, wow. Yo, know, Badger Bad Night. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, on that note, me and John are going to go have a meeting. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoy. It's not going to be a fun meeting. <laughs> Peace.